2015 was the year of the goat, and in this year, the Royal Australian Mint produced 12 different 50 cent coins. That included the controversial gold-plated 50 cent coin you probably noticed in the thumbnail of this video. All 12 2015 50 cent varieties share the same Ian Rank Broadley effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, identified by the initials IRB below the Queen's effigy. 2015 was also the 50th anniversary of the Royal Australian Mint, so of course this milestone would be celebrated by the release of a special collector 50 cent coin. The Mint went one better to celebrate this birthday, however, with the release of two 50 cent anniversary Royal Australian Mint Beehive coins. One in the regular plain nickel copper finish and the other a multi-coloured beehive with a small mintage of only 15,000 coins and then the controversial gold-plated coat of arms 50 cent coin. Now there is no argument from me that this coin is not impressive and worthy of celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Australian Mint. Who could not marvel at the impact of this glorious gold finish? Regardless, I do have sympathy for those who do not like this coin. But before I give my reasons, I want to make it clear that I in no way think that the Royal Australian Mint is trying to pass off a gold-plated coin as a solid gold coin. Nevertheless, by producing a legitimate gold-plated coin, it does perhaps, in some small way, give license for other less reputable manufacturers of coins to produce products that could be passed off as solid gold coins when they are anything but. Some may scoff at this notion, but I must say my preference would be for the Mint to stay away from 100% gold-plated coins and stick to the beautiful and unambiguous gold embossed coins like this beautiful 2024 gold embossed dragon from the Perth Mint. The next six 2015 50 cent coins are all dedicated to various significant military campaigns Australia was involved in during World War II. The Crete campaign coming to a protracted end after the Germans used paratroopers that took such massive casualties that the Germans did not employ mass paratroopers again in World War II. Then comes El Alamein and Tobruk that amounted to the first time the mighty German war machine was to be stopped in its tracks during World War II, followed by the Greece campaign, another of Churchill's dubious ideas that was destined to fail from the start and cost Australia many good men. War in the Pacific, although far from Europe and considered less important to Churchill as he concentrated on his home front, was nevertheless crucially important to Australians who feared an invasion by Japan. All through the war, however, the Empire Air Training Scheme, stationed primarily in Canada and Australia, pumped out trained pilots in huge numbers, destined for the RAF and the protection of Mother England. So many years later, Australia still looked towards England by producing the last two coins of 2015, one celebrating the birth of Princess Charlotte and the other celebrating Queen Elizabeth II as the longest reigning monarch.